Hello, my name is Catherine Hardingham and I'm a member of St Peter's Parish, Halliwell. Recently, a member of our congregation brought some clay round to make bird baths. And due to the lockdown, we were out in the garden, in the hot sun, under the parasol, working on the table, safe distancing, of course. It was not an easy task as the clay was drying out very quickly. My friend helped me and showed me how to join the strips of clay together using a lot of slip and marking each section so that it joins together and actually stays joined. The bird was easy to do, but I had to remember to put a hole in the top so that the bird didn't blow up in the kiln. There were lots of things to do and here is my actual bird bath. It looks quite good and I'm very proud of it. Of course, being my first attempt. But just after I'd finished it, I knocked into it and a piece fell out, which I had to put it back together. But unbeknown to me, it had cracked along the bottom. So when it was fired, there was a huge crack right at the bottom. Joy fixed it for me with some glass. Unfortunately, now my bird bath, it won't be able to hold water like it was meant to. But I can adapt it and put in some bird food instead. This reminds me of a passage in the Bible, Jeremiah 18, the potter's house. In verse 2, it says, Go down to the potter's house, and there I will give you a message. So I went down to the potter's house, and I saw him working at the wheel. But the pot he was shaping from the clay was marred in his hands. So the potter formed it into another pot, shaping it as it was best for him. Jeremiah was sent to the potter's house shed to watch the potter so that he might hear what God was saying to him. Jeremiah needed to leave his own familiar settings and let God speak to him while watching someone working. How does God speak to you? For me, God often speaks through natural things, ordinary, normal things. Perhaps somebody might say, say something to me and I know God's speaking to me. God did not shape us once and for all. He tells Jeremiah that God's people are like clay that has not been fired. When we see a potter working, we can see the difference between the clay that has not yet been fired and those that have. When the clay has been fired, it dries, shrinks and hardens into a permanent structure and shape. It can then be decorative, but it's often functional and designed for one purpose only. It's easy to break, especially when you drop it. This clay is now ceramic, lovely and useful, but it's often rigid and brittle. On the other hand, clay that has not been fired can be shaped and reshaped again and again. Its material is mouldable, flexible, and responsive. God shaped each one of us and breathed life into us. He did not fire the clay from which he made us. None of us are only a cup, a tile or even a bird bath. God is able to shape and reshape us. He works tirelessly at the wheel on our behalf. He looks at our character. He knows our strengths and weaknesses. He builds on our strengths. And when flaws are found in us, he works diligently to remedy them. I remember years ago having a go at the potter's wheel. I started off with a large round handful of clay, but ended up with a small golf ball of clay instead. I didn't actually manage to make anything, nothing at all. God's nothing like that though. Just think for a minute. Picture yourself in God's hands and all that means to you. How 
might he want to use you? He will keep you safe and make you into something beautiful, which he can use for his glory. Thanks for listening.